Good morning on day two of school. Clark man starting his day off with some breakfast, having some delicious sea stars. Just slurping them in there. I'm in lunch prep mode. Clark man taking a half a sandwich today with the healthy bread with the crust cut off as requested. We've got some strawberry applesauce and some snackage in there as well. So we'll put that all in there. We got the Minecraft water to go. And today is a kind of a big day for Clark. What's different about today than yesterday? I'm riding the school bus. What's that gonna be like? I don't know yet. You think it's gonna be awesome? Mm -hmm. We made the decision that Clarkman would ride the bus in the morning because it is like right from our house to the school. In fact, yesterday on the way there, we were right in front of his bus. So he's gonna get on there and then go. That saves me 30 minutes of driving back and forth to his school and then the afternoons, I'm gonna pick him up just like always. Because otherwise you would get home at like four something in the afternoon. Let me go see what the time was. 4.09 p.m. is what time he would get home, and that's after school gets out at 3.25. So we're talking, what, 45 minutes on the bus? It's a long time for a little dude. Uh -huh. Socks. Ooh, green. Yeah, I'm trying to match your epic outfit. Clark is wearing the outfit he wanted to wear yesterday. Today, it's the dinosaur pizza shirt along with his camo shorts. Showing his true colors today. Pure awesomeness right there, my friends. Mm -hmm. Speaking of pure awesomeness, look at those socks. So white, so clean. Got his five items in here that reflect who he is as a person. We have a train, we've got a transformer, we got a Lego Minecraft Steve, Luca, and a Mario Kart. I would say that, that pretty much nails it. Yeah, that not says I know I like Hot Wheels and yeah. Mario. I love the mask today too. Dude. Here we go. Gotta wear a mask on the bus. Clark wears it in school here we go. too, even though it's optional. Go get your shoes on because we gotta get going out here. Uh, yeah, like right now, actually. We have to go to our neighbor's mm -hmm. house for the bus pickup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right over there. Just think, we only have to do this 179 times. We have arrived at the bus stop. And look, you can see our turkeys from here. Yeah. Chirpa, chirpa, chirkies. <laughs> They'll watch you get on the bus every day. Yeah. On the bus, you can sit wherever you want to. If you find a seat that's empty and you want to sit there, you can do that. You could sit with another kid, but I don't know if they're down with that with the COVID stuff happening. So just find an empty seat, sit there, and you'll be at school in probably about 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. That'd be fun, yeah. playing on the bus with yeah. my dad. It's an adventure, right? Yeah. You hear that? Th that's, that looks like a bus to me. A school bus. That's a school bus. It's a car. That's for you, dude. Okay. You ready to do this? You always want to make sure that there's no traffic and wait until his lights come on, okay? So we're going to pop out here, all right? Good morning. Morning, how are you doing? All right, what? Yep, that's Clark. And I was wondering, would it be okay if we let him get on in our driveway? It's literally the next house over. Where's that at? Right here, the, the, the brick house right there. Because yeah, okay. our neighbor, their kids come here, but I don't think they ride in the morning with, with okay, this bus. Yeah. I'll just come right out of our driveway. We'll be right behind that bush there. That's fine. All right, sir. Yep, Thank sure. you so much. I'm back. We didn't leave you. I guess depending on how today goes with Clark on the bus and the experience that he has, which I'm assuming is gonna be a good one. Like I said, it literally drives from here right to the school. He should be just fine on there. And now I have an extra 30 minutes to get uh, work done, if you call it. I just got some video editing done. This is our little trip to the skate park. Very sweaty Clark, man. That is almost done exporting. And I guess what I'm gonna do next is do a stream on this, but I don't wanna do the stream like I did yesterday. I got inspired last night watching a gaming stream. I love the way that the background or what is being shown primarily is the thing that they're doing, like the game. In my case, it would be the build. So it'd be like the table, right? And that's what you'd wanna see. And then in front of that, they had like the person who's playing the game as with like a green screen behind them. So it's just like the outline of them in front of it. So you can like still see the person talking, but primarily you see the the build or the game or whatever. And I think I could use this same setup, not only for gaming, but also for, for making Lego stuff. So I'm gonna spend the next two hours, maybe more, depending on how quickly I need to do this or I can get this done, taking my green screen, which is back there. And I think I'm gonna use my GoPro to get a really wide angle of what I'm working on because like, a camera like this, and I apologize for the sound with like the fan because this thing starts heating up when I'm exporting 4K footage. Like this is pretty tight, but a GoPro would be like really wide and you could see a lot, which means that I have to clean up a lot because Clark, he started working on another set here this morning. This is a Minecraft set. 
Uh, but just something that I have in my mind and that I'd love to do when I have the time to do it. I guess most importantly, I just love improving. I like getting better at things and like making every part of my life and my business better if I can, and I can certainly do it. So let's see how it goes. Isn't this fancy? Spent a little bit of time here. I got my GoPro set up. It's going into my PC down here. And as you can see, we've got a signal that's going into this. The only downside is it seems that I've lost my other camera that I'd really love to have hooked up for the like the face cam stuff. But this is, this is doable, I guess. Not ideal, but we're on track. I just need to try to get this figured out. It's now after 11 a.m. and I had to switch computers to actually make this work. A little reset later and it's actually working. I know no one that's watching this actually cares about this, but man, I, this is the start of something really cool, I think. If I get my green screen out and then we move that scene around and I have this set up like this where you can see what I'm building, this could be, this could actually be really awesome. I'm kind of dreading taking this out again because it's almost impossible to get back in here, but I'm doing it for science. Last time I took this out of here, I almost died. So I thought maybe I would get it on video because it's, it's a little wild, but here we go. <laughs> There's a green screen. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? I was prepared this time, though. I was prepared, Boo Bear. When Clark leaves, I end up talking to the dog. Don't act like you don't do that, too. I remember this being a little janky when I put it on here before. Oh, it doesn't help that it's seven feet in the air. Goodness gracious. I'm blue, I'm green, I'm green, I'm gonna be green, and this is what it's gonna look like when I'm playing my game. That looks terrible. Hope this works. This is a lot of work for making a silly little live stream. This is what I do when uh, Clark goes to school. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're getting there. Check this out. Totally getting there. I'm gonna move that, set up like a mask or whatever behind it, change the dimensions of it, and uh, get this set up on a tripod. Bingo boingo. This moment right now is proof to myself that if I put my mind to something, I can make it happen because look at this, boys. We got it. There is me set up exactly the way that I envisioned it along with my build right there, which is in front of me. The GoPro is set up here. Green screen is back here. It's legit. Like this looks like, a, even though I, my arm gets cut off there when I really come out. So I don't want to do too much of that. I need to kind of stay in my box here, literally. And uh, dude, I'm just, I'm stoked about this. I think this looks awesome. And I've never had a stream that's that's looked like this and been like this professional. I'm, I'm so excited. This is my microphone up here. I have that hidden even. So you can't even tell that I have a microphone but it's gonna sound amazing. Oh, I love this. So I'm gonna schedule the stream and I'm gonna build some of this tank. Two hours later, I just wrapped up the stream and I've got a lot more tank built. Take a look at this thing. Came together really nicely. Some little tricky parts to it, like obviously you got the treads and stuff on there. And I know this isn't the Lego channel, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but just know that it was really good. Had a fun time chatting with everybody. It was, it was awesome and uh, I would definitely do it again. In fact, I'm gonna do it tomorrow where I build the top part of this. That wraps up work for today, so we gotta get some play in, and I got a pupper dog here that I think wants to go for a walk. You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, Dad, let's go for a walk. I'm gonna go walk, walk. Oh, Ooh, she's a little slow, a little stiff. Okay, come on. Oh. Where you coming? <laughs> she always needs. That one last time. Let's see, we've got about 40 minutes to walk. We have arrived. That's the rail trail walking path, and that is the dog that's very excited to go. So let's go. Today is the last day of August, but it's starting to get like that fall feeling a little bit out here. I can feel it. I don't know if I like that or not. This is that walk where you really wish you would have brought some bug spray with you because there are mosquitoes everywhere in here. They're on my arms, they're on my face. I can feel them. I'm trying to outrun the mosquitoes. What are these doing on the ground? Too soon. You hold on. That right there looks like a mission accomplished. Get some air conditioning for the boo bear and we go pick up Clark Man. Dada, it's all on my backpack. Oh my 
my god, did you notice before you got out? I got out and I saw I picked it up and oh, I geez. ran right to everyone else. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm like, Marlon! I'm gonna starve again today. This means I am getting used to, used, used to first grade. Okay. I, I, I actually did, I didn't have enough time to teacher said three blocks away. Okay. Day two, Clark, man. Give me the rundown. Um, I don't know what day two is going to happen. Today was day two. Day two was, number one, I played with Patrick. Oh. Again. Again. Okay. I loved my lunch. Your packed lunch. How was the sandwich? Good? Awesome. All right. What was that? It was um, writing in uppercase and lowercase where it would have one letter written, say if it's an uppercase for example, and then you have to write the lowercase yourself. Okay, makes sense. And, um, and um, I don't really remember anything else that much, but I just wanna say, I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> you don't remember anything you did today? Not that much. Wow. What was the most exciting thing that happened today? Like, what is the thing in your mind that was like, man, that really made day two epic? Okay, let's scratch that. I know something you did today that was new. What? You rode the bus. Yeah. Tell me about that experience. It was fun. There's uh, so many other kids. Did you find a seat when you got on? Yeah, I was on, I was on um, that side. I was wondering, because I looked for you when you were driving away, I didn't see you in the window. Yeah, I know, I got number 12. We stopped at like a school for big kids. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, that's the next school that you'll end up going to. Yeah. After you complete third grade, you'll end up going to that school. It, like, is, like, a blackish blue school. Hmm. We stopped at it, and then a bunch of big kids went off the bus. Oh, I didn't know they mixed you guys. Interesting. Um, bus driver seemed real sweet, though. He was a nice guy. When you got off the bus, were there any any confusion or anything? Were you all good there? I was all good. We, it's like how you would get off a bus. Okay. And you just went in through the back of the school? Yep. You went in for like when we come out. And then I walked to the classroom. And then when you pack, you have, you have to put like this little bear and then you put it on this on the milk side so she, she knows you packed. Okay. You might want to pack again tomorrow because I think the only good option tomorrow is um PB and J. I think it's grilled cheese is the only good option tomorrow. So I was gonna order PB and J. Okay, you can do that. Anything else from today? Um, what? Anything else from today? Um, I guess that's it. All right, I'll take it. I'll take whatever information I can get. You're already starting into the routine where it's like, what you do in school today? I don't remember, nothing, I don't know. That's okay though. It's quite alright. We're gonna go home and get some dinner and then uh, watch some Full House tonight. Yeah, I'm so excited because I'm hungry. 
Okay. We're having steak. Yay! But that takes like seven minutes. You have seven minutes, you think? You think you can last that long? Uh, six minutes each side is what I do. So I have to wait 12 minutes for a steak. Mm hmm Okay, I can do that. Okay, you won't starve to death? Nope. Oh good, you won't starve to death.